All right, guys, so we're doing something a little bit different today. So since we are gonna be trying out the yogurts, um, I thought it'd be appropriate to actually show off um, the gym a little bit and kind of give you a little tour. So obviously in here, this is a nice little uh, entryway. Um, you'll see some of the protein supplements that we have here um, at Tejas Fit. So some of the protein supplements that uh, Tejas Fit uses is a brand named Top Trainer. If you haven't heard of Top Trainer, check them out. They got some great products. They've got pretty much everything you, you're looking for. So um, proteins, uh, other stuff, <laughs> pre-workouts, BCAAs, um, basically your, your standard products that you would normally see. All right, so as you walk this way, this will be the main entry point of the gym. So we have our small little desk here. Um, as well as the main uh, piece of the gym, which is the rig. So the rig is where we hold uh, each one of our members here at Tejas Fit. Um, and this is where they pretty much do their workouts. So on the floor here, we kind of laid out everything due to COVID, um, make everything easily accessible. So you have your kettlebells and your dumbbells, as well as some other um, equipment here. Um, about a year or two ago, I actually purchased um, with the funds that we, I've made with uh, Balance Fitness and Performance, we purchased our own functional trainer machine. So our functional trainer machine is right here in the corner. Uh, basically used um, for any personal training clients that want to use it or if we're in here in the gym working out by ourselves, we utilize this equipment right here. Um, on the ground here, you'll see a few of um, the weighted plates that we have and they'll be spruced up all throughout the gym um, for easy access for people using them for the barbells. Um, during their training. Got a little bit of bands and some jump ropes as well. So um, if you walk with me this way, we have pretty much all of our barbells set up in the corner over here in the back. We've got some med balls as well, okay? As you continue walking, we've got one assault bike. And this is basically for like general warm up or in between um, certain uh, workouts if there's only one person working out. There's really not a lot of space here, so we only have one of them available. So as you continue walking this way, we've got more med balls in the corner here. They're kind of stowed away, just trying to keep them out of the way so that way we have room to work here. Um, as you turn this way, we have our rowers, so we got about six rowers, which is perfect for the amount of people that we have in class, as well as a couple of GHD machines, which I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the majority of it. We have a couple of ad rollers and battle ropes as well, and then the benches, which are stowed away in the corner. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing crazy. Um, we got a few boxes over there for box jumps, and then obviously the refrigerator and PA system for music, our supplements, our meals. Um, pretty much everything you could really need in a gym for group training classes. So, although a majority of our training is made with free weights, I think it gives people an excellent opportunity to learn how to lift properly since they are using free weights to train. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through our workout and then we're gonna try the ratio Greek yogurt today. So we're gonna try each flavor and let you know which one's our favorite and whether or not it's actually a worth it uh, product to buy as opposed to other yogurts out there. So stay tuned. So we just finished our back and bicep workout. 
we decided to do a burnout, so we're gonna do 100 curls with 20 pound dumbbells. So we'll see how that goes. So, we just finished up with our workout. Over the next five days, we'll be trying these yogurts. This is made by Ratio. This is their protein-packed yogurt. And um, I wanna reiterate here that I don't believe that they are calling this Greek yogurt. It's just gonna be considered their protein yogurt. Standard traditional protein yogurt. And so, I will scooch here, and we will put the macronutrients right here. Yeah. You wanna go ahead and read that off? Yeah, yeah, so, I'm pretty sure. So just to verify, we're, we screwed up, we didn't buy the same flavor. So this is coconut, and that one is what flavor. We're basically just gonna try two different flavors here for yeah. the first day. Um, but obviously- yeah. They're pretty pretty similar. No, so they, they have the same amount of calories on yeah, them. Yeah, so this one, they're 170 calories, four grams of fat, only nine carbs, and 25 grams of protein, which is pretty It's really, solid. really solid. Um, this actually might be better than most Greek yogurts that you'll see. We were actually inspired, um, from the Super Bowl commercial where they showed the Oikos Pro, which yeah. is gonna have 20 grams of protein. We went looking for that uh, particular product, but they are not in stores yet, and we came across Ratio. So we're gonna try this, uh, this protein yogurt. It and really good. So I'll, I'll try the blueberry. Um, coconut. He'll try the coconut, and then we'll just switch over and give our feedback on both of them. So first taste here. Mm -hmm. Got a protein taste. It's got a protein taste. It's not your traditional um, mm. Greek yogurt taste. Not as sweet. It's a little tart. Um, it's got the same consistency as Greek yogurt, though. Almost. I would say so as well. It's a little bit more sour. A yeah. little bit more tart. You can definitely tell that it's it's higher in protein. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go ahead and switch right here, and he's gonna taste mine. I'm gonna taste his. That sounded terrible. Uh. Wow, okay. I actually kind of like this one a little bit better like than that one. Better. Really? <laughs> okay. So, I mean, both are... They're both good. They're both really, really good. But this tastes really good. This is yeah. Good. Oh my God. Yeah, they're both really good. Um, another thing to add on here is that the total sugar amount is three grams. Mm -hmm. And then it says the sugar alcohol is two grams. So, um, overall, I'm not, you know, yeah, I'm not upset good. about it. This is good. Dude. It's really pretty, it's really pretty good. good. Um, Considering. In the macros on this thing, 25 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. That's that's that's, that's pretty, pretty high. Good. I mean, this this could essentially be your protein supplement. I mean, especially for, for people. Post workout, yeah. For, especially for people who aren't, um, you know, getting the necessary protein they need, or too scared to take a, a, a particular supplement or powder, or pay money for the powder. Um, we'll go over the prices of this um, later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. But um, Jeez, yeah, they're pretty they're pretty good. I, I really enjoy the taste. Um, it is a little bit more tart. You can taste a little bit more protein flavor in there, but I'm not upset about it at all. Tomorrow, we'll go through our workout again, and then we'll try our next two flavors. All right, guys, so we decided to bring a guest in for a video today. Got my girlfriend, Crystal Davila. So, um, unlike I said before, we were gonna do it over a course of five days, but uh, since it's a little bit easier just to kind of go through the different flavors, uh, one by one and just kind of trade off. We figured it'd be a little bit easier that way. So um, we finished up our workout and we're gonna try our yogurts. So right now I have the vanilla flavor. I got the key lime flavor. And strawberry. So yeah, we'll basically try each other's yogurts and give our two cents on what they taste like. So again, uh, 25 grams of protein, um, nine, nine grams of carbs and four grams of fat, 170 calories. They're pretty much all the same macronutrients, which I really, really like. I, uh, some other products that we normally they try tend to be, flavors, yeah. exactly. So I like that they're all pretty much the same across the board. So this is gonna be our first time trying these ones as well. So here we go. Vanilla smells excellent. Smells pretty much like your normal Greek yogurt. Kind of smells like vanilla with a hint of lime. See? Okay. Smell? Oh, yeah. Alright. Wow. Vanilla okay. with a hint of lime. Alright, let's go in for our initial taste. Mm. 
Not bad. I was not disappointed. Yeah. Not I mean, good. you can t you can definitely taste. Okay. The protein. Oh, oh I want to ask you. Uh, you can taste the lime. Let me ask you this. As opposed to Greek yogurt, how do you feel? As opposed to Greek yogurt. Yeah. How do you feel like that tastes as opposed to regular Greek yogurt? Mm, you can definitely taste the flavor. It's like. The proteinish. It tastes, it's a little, it's a little, chalky. it has like a little chalkiness at the end. Like a tartness? You can, yeah, you can definitely taste the chalkiness. Okay. Um, let, let me trade off, let's actually just go in a circle here. So vanilla, um, I think it tastes really, really good, but it still has that kind of chalkiness to it. Um, yeah. Strawberry tastes good. Yeah. It definitely has a chalkiness too at the end. Oh yeah. That's it's very, a little, that one's a little tart. That's very limey towards the end. A little more sour. I like but pretty good. The vanilla tastes a lot different than the regular. Strawberry's good. Um, it has like vanilla. So I, I feel like the common theme amongst all of these is that it has like a big. The the flavor it is at the very beginning, yeah, and then it dies and off. And then it dies off, and then it's like a protein. the protein. It's like a chalk. Yeah. It's like a chalkiness, tartness, protein flavor. Um, Yesterday, after the video had ended, we actually put some crumbles in there, some oh, granola, yeah. and man, it, it, it was excellent. So, um, yeah, you can definitely tell that it's not as sugary, it's not as sweet, Yeah, but it's still a great product. It's good. It tastes good. I excellent. I mean, I, I if, you had to, if you had to rank it out of five, what would you give it? Mm, five, at, five at the highest? Yeah. Five, is, five being the highest. Best. Like three and a half. I think it was like yeah. three and a half. Four, I'd say four. Dude. I'd That's say about... Good. Blueberry one I had yesterday was good. Yeah, that one was really good. So I'm, I don't not, I'm not doing the key lime, but mm -hmm. I give it a three and a half. I think right now, well, with, not, well, well, not like just that one. I'm saying like all the ones you put, like you tasted. Like three and a half. Yeah. yeah. Which one's Which one's the best? I like, like the it. strawberry one. I think the strawberry is the best on, on the ones we tried right now. Yeah. And then yesterday, I think blueberry. the blueberry was coconut probably was the top. even good though. The coconut yeah. was good as well, but I think the blueberry, blueberry. the strawberry, probably the top of the list. Um, yeah. yeah, thanks guys for uh, watching. This is pretty much our just small little review of our of our yogurts. And again, this is the ratio protein yogurt. Um, yeah, we just got this at our local grocery store, H E B. So um, yeah. yeah, I would check to see if they have it available at your grocery store and and give it a try. Thanks a lot, guys. Twenty nine degrees outside. They completely blocked off the highway, so we're just taking the back roads. It'll take maybe like five minutes to get over there. All right, guys. So we're gonna be going to the tasting part of this episode. So today we're trying the hemp bars.